the merch. We are tearing apart our house because we're moving. Well, the snow just stopped and the sun came out. That's weird. I wish I could say we were moving somewhere sunny and warm, but we're not. We're probably going somewhere just as cold and just as snowy. Taxes? They suck. So like I said, we're moving and tomorrow we have a very short notice viewing for our house. So we're gonna work like crazy and try and make this place presentable. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> So I just came to this field. It's a field in like my area that I know like you can have your dogs around. My car got stuck in the driveway. The snow didn't look that deep, but I guess because we're in like this period of like melting and freezing, it uh, my car just got like stuck. So I was out there trying to like dig myself out, but thankfully some wonderful people came to help me out. The, the field is right by uh, Maple View Church here and they had like a little tow truck thingy and they pulled me right out. Pretty effortlessly, but uh, very thankful, very thankful for a community of people who are happy to help each other out. Ironically, like a week ago, I just helped dig an old lady on my street. She uh, can't shovel her driveway. She tried to drive out, got stuck, and uh, a bunch of us were out there helping her. That was kind of funny. It all comes around sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of us. So we had to get out of the house because the landlord's showing our current place to another tenant, um, or potential tenant, I should say. So we got the whole family in the car. We got the cat, we got Claire, we got the dog. Uh, let's go to McDonald's. I want to talk about daily vlogging. Specifically a little bit more on the editing side, but there's a lot more to talk about than just editing when it comes to daily vlogs. On this channel, I only did that five days of daily vlogging, but over on Maddie's channel, I was the editor for many daily vlogs. I think when most people think of daily vlogs, the biggest hurdle is the editing. I mean, it's pretty easy to film your day and what's going on, but being able to successfully edit it in time for the next day is probably the biggest challenge. But let me tell you how to pull off a daily vlog. I think if you follow these steps, you'll realize that it's actually not as complicated as you might think. All right, so first up, you you gotta have a formula. It reminds me a lot of how like improv acting works. I'm not an actor, I just, I took the high school class. You have a formula or a framework and you just kind of plug in your responses into the framework. And if you follow it every time, you will be successful. The same thing goes with a daily vlog. Here is an example of like a textbook daily vlog. You start off with your intro. It could be literally anything. You could be, you could be coming through the door. You could be leaving the door, getting in your car. You could be opening boxes. You could be eating food. Literally anything doesn't matter. You just need something to get the ball rolling. And then from there, we're gonna have a short introduction talking bit just to set the playing field as to what this video is about you're gonna save your big thoughts for later and then you're gonna move on to your day tip here keep it short and sweet you don't want to bore your audience with like too much stuff going on or whatever is going on it's just dragging on too long keep it quick keep it engaging then we're gonna move on to the main talking bit for example that would be this part of the video that you're watching right now this is the main talking bit I'm gonna be telling you all my thoughts about the topic of this video this will probably be the reason why you click the video and then we're gonna finish off the day with some more vlogging I would say this is like a good textbook vlog formula. Now not every video has to follow the exact formula, but it is going to help you come up with that routine and when you get into the edit you'll know exactly what you need to do. Speaking of the editing, try not to overshoot. This is how you will successfully edit those videos in one to two hours. You want to make it as easy as possible for yourself. Another way to keep it very simple for yourself is to have a library of music that you can always refer to. And what I mean by that is music that you've already selected, downloaded, and it's on your computer or on your hard drive for you to use. Stuff that you already sorted through and you know you're gonna like. I find if I go to one of my music websites, I end up spending way too much time looking for the right song because I have so many options, which is wonderful, but having music that you've already downloaded, it limits you and allows you to just pick one, and it really just keeps things going. If you are interested in what sites I use, I would say 80% of all the music I use is Epidemic Sound, and the other 20% is Musicbed. Both of these services are fantastic, but they offer two slightly different services. I would say with Epidemic Sound, there's a lot more variety, a lot more general music that's going to work for your videos. They also have sound effects, and Musicbed has a lot of really high quality music that honestly you could probably hear on the radio. I actually know a handful of musicians that have music on Musicbed. It is not royalty free, it is music licensing. But you don't always need that big hero song, but when you do, Musicbed is the place to go. When you need a lot of variety, Epidemic Sound is the way to go. That is why I would say 80% Epidemic Sound, 20% Musicbed. If you're interested, I'm pretty sure there is a free trial down below for Epidemic Sound. You can also try out Musicbed, and just so you know, both links are affiliate links. So if you try them out, you support the channel. Oh, and a quick rule of thumb with audio. Typically 
basically with the song, if there's a voice, I'll usually set the volume anywhere between minus 26 to minus 32, just depending on how loud the song file is. There's typically some variation there, but between minus 26 and minus 32, that's usually the kind of the sweet spot for background music as well as talking. If there's no talking, the music's pretty loud, I still bring it down to at least minus three to minus six. Typically, it's pretty nice to just leave a little bit of overhead, especially if you're going back and forth to talking to no talking. You don't want that music to be louder than that talking was. Okay, moving on, the next thing is good shortcuts. Whatever program you use, you need good shortcuts. I have mentioned this before, but I did make a video a while ago about my shortcuts. You can check out that video at the top right of this video, but I'm gonna run through some of the biggest shortcuts that I use, my main shortcuts. I should also say that these shortcuts are for Premiere, but if you're using DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, I'm sure there are very similar things that you can do with these same shortcuts. Now my whole idea with my shortcuts is that everything's on the left side of the keyboard and I never lift my left hand. I use one and two to zoom in and out. I use Q to trim previous edit to playhead. I use W to trim next edit to playhead. E is ripple delete, um, and X to split the selected clip at playhead. So essentially while I edit, I'm pretty much just hitting XQ, 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 the odd W, one, two to zoom in and out. Oh, and I use F to fast forward. I go into a lot more detail in my shortcuts video. If you're interested, I would highly recommend checking that out. Another editing tip for daily vlogs, you don't really have a lot of time to organize, so just throw it all on one timeline. Everything's chronological anyways. Don't bother categorizing, colorizing. Daily vlogs are not these perfect polished edits. They're quick, they're rough, and they should be very repeatable. You do not want to be up at 4 a.m. finishing your video and then getting up early the next day to start a new one. This is how you burn out. I'd say you're better off going to bed at a decent time and then getting up early to finish your video the next day and have it out before like noon. Another thing is create presets. Whether it's color presets or audio presets, these are going to save your life. Personally, at the moment, I use all of Maddie's stuff because that's what I'm familiar with and I like it. <laughs> I use his audio presets, I use his LUTs. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description to his store. Another tip while you are filming your vlog, don't forget to take a thumbnail. The last thing you want is to be uploading your video at midnight thinking you still have to take a photo. That's the worst. Now what time of day is actually best to start your edit? This is gonna be different for everyone. I know some people like to stay up late editing. Some people like to get up early to edit. Some people like to edit little bits throughout the day. I say just figure out what works for you. Another tip here, let's say you have a B-roll sequence in your video. The quickest way to make that B-roll sequence in my experience is to completely disregard what is happening in those shots. Just time up all the clips and then use the slide tool to adjust what is being seen. This method saves me a lot of time because I'm not doing any rough cutting. I'm barely even selecting clips. I just get it all in there and then replace the clips I don't want with good ones. But yeah, I think that is about it. This is how I quickly edit daily vlogs. If you have any questions on this topic, please leave a comment down below and I will try my best to give you an answer. That is it for me today. I will see you next time.